Hi, I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. Congratulations on your new oven. Today I am going to show you how to save energy, cut time, cut fat out of your diet, and show you everything this oven can do and then some. So I'm going to show you the models that we have. We've got the blue digital, we have the red digital, we have the black digital, and we have the red analog. Now what I need you to know is that all of our ovens cook exactly the same way. I'm going to show you the versatility of these ovens, so let's get started. We're going to take our enamel liner pan, place it in the base tray, and keep in mind we can bake on this cookies, crescent rolls, I brown meat in the bottom, uh, ground round wonderful, wonderful asset to the oven. Then we're going to take our one inch and four inch. One inch, which you do larger foods like hams and chickens, and then four inch is more your chicken breast and your steaks and veggies. Okay. Next you take your light and durable dome and place it over. Now everything from this point down is dishwasher safe, so keep that in mind. It cleans up very nice. And I like to clean um, my dome after each use. Next we have the power head. I'm going to show you a few things. We ask you to register your oven after you use it for a while and also if you want to register for the cooking club you're going to need this serial number which is on the side of the power head here. It starts with a letter and then is followed by a series of numbers little trick, we have a plastic coating that comes on top so that we prevent scratches during shipping. Power cord. You're going to place your power head in the dome, give it a twist, and that locks it into place. The power head is not dishwasher safe. Then we're going to take our dome holder, place that in the handle, and it fits very nice and secure in there for flipping your foods. But we can also use it another way. You can put it off to the side on your countertop. And it sits very nice and secure there. So if you want to take your whole tray uh, to the table for serving, you can. One of the most important things I want you to know is that your oven has a one-year top to bottom warranty. All right, let's talk about the power head. Okay, we have our oven put together. Now we're going to talk about the power head, which really is the heart of our oven. There's three main things I need you to remember. Number one, our oven always starts on power level high. And you'll be doing most of your cooking on power level high. The second thing is, is we program minutes, not seconds, on our oven, which makes it very simple for you to, to program. And the third thing is, is we have a two hour maximum time limit when we're cooking on power level high. And what this means is if I'm doing a 10 pound turkey and I'm cu cooking it for two and a half hours, I'm going to be able to push cook time, two, zero, zero, start. Then when the timer goes off and tells me it's done, I'm gonna have to enter the additional 30 minutes and push start. Now let's say that you accidentally hit four hours on here and you only wanted to cook your chicken for two hours, your frozen chicken, the machine will automatically default back to two hours. And this is a UL regulation and it's really a great benefit for safety for our oven. Okay, let's talk about the cook time button, which is what we're always going to be pushing when we cook on power level high. Let's say we have some asparagus, we're going to place them on the four inch rack. You're going to push cook time. Asparagus take between six and seven minutes, so we're going to push seven and start. Okay, now maybe at three minutes, you see you have three minutes left, you want to turn your asparagus. You're going to push the pause button just once. Go ahead and flip your asparagus and then re-push start. Now you're six minutes into cooking and you think, my asparagus look done, they look perfect. I need to shut my power head off. Just push this pause and clear button twice and the power head will shut down. Power level button. Let's say we're going to cook beef jerky. We're going to dehydrate beef jerky. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the machine what power level I want by hitting power level 2, which means the oven, the beef jerky is going to cook at 20% of the oven's capability of 350 degrees. Then I need to tell the oven how long I want it to cook for me. So I'm going to press cook time, and I do my beef jerky for four hours. So hit four, zero, zero, start. The nice feature about this oven is power levels one through nine will cook for up to nine hours and 59 minutes. A lot of times on power level one, if I want to keep a casserole warm or a cheesy nacho dip, if I'm having friends over, I just hit cook time, power level one, two hours, and my dip will stay hot while I'm running around getting ready for the rest of the party. Some of our ovens have a reheat button. Now with the reheat button, you're going to place your food on the four inch rack. You're simply going to push reheat and start. And what this is doing is it's heat, reheating your food on powered level high for four minutes. It's as simple as that and it's going to taste like, you know, what you ordered in the restaurant. Let's talk about the cooking pans that fit in your new wave. The rule of thumb is anything that fits in your conventional oven will work in our new wave as long as it fits. So let's go over the items. You can use glass. This is an eight by eight. It's the biggest pan that fits in our oven. You can use the glass little cups for baking your eggs for our breakfast sandwiches. Muffin cups, silicone. And these come in 8x8 eight eight also, or bread pans. Tin foil. And remember, you can't put any metal in your microwave, so this is a great asset, this oven, when it comes to tin foil. Then we can use a ceramic ramekin for desserts, heating butters and jams and whatnot. Then you have your 9-inch bread pan. We also have the cooking bags, which is awesome for doing your complete meals. All you do is put your beef or chicken or whatever you're going to do. This makes a great, easy cleanup. Put it on your one-inch rack. Make sure there's a little air hole. And then you simply refer to your cooking guide. The roast is three pounds. We placed on the one-inch rack. It's 20 minutes a pound for fresh, thawed and it's 30 minutes a pound for frozen. Then your internal temperature of the meat is going to be 140 to 149 degrees. So it's a great way of easy cleanup, complete meal, but you also can do this roast without the bag, just on the one inch rack, but you'll want to flip your meat halfway through. So those are the items that we can use. One of the biggest questions we have is can you use tin foil in our oven? And the answer is yes. Unlike the microwave, you cannot use it. So I'm going to show you the different ways that we can utilize the tin foil in our oven. First of all, if you'd like to line the liner pan for easy cleanup, simply line it. You're going to have a little bit of overhang. That's absolutely fine. Place your dome on. Continue cooking. Easy cleanup. Now, let's say you're cooking something that's going to be dripping down chicken or steak, you can simply tent this with foil, secure it loosely, place your dome on and continue cooking. It'll cook but not brown. Third thing, if you want an easy cleanup on your rack, just place tin foil on Make a few slits, put your food on, follow the quick and easy cooking guide, and you have easy cleanup. Let me read. Okay, now here's another question I get very frequently. Another great feature is if we want to reheat food, Let's say you brought a take-home bag from the restaurant or whatnot. Make, simply make a nice little tin foil plate, 
Place your foods on. Dome sits on. Now, we, if you oven has a reheat feature, you simply push reheat, start. And if you don't have the reheat feature, you simply push cook time, four minutes, start. And you're going to be reheating your food on power level high. And it's going to come out just like you had it the night before or the day before. Wonderful, wonderful feature. So I hope you enjoy. I'd like to show you a great tip that I use when I'm baking or cooking in the new wave and in my, my food is getting too brown. I simply take a piece of parchment paper, whether it be over the liner pan or the four inch rack, and I place it over the top of the food item, place my dome on top. You're going to have some excess coming out of the oven. It's totally fine. This way this allows your food to continue cooking but not browning. The same process is done for the four inch rack or the one inch rack. Simply place your food and your foil and it's fine. You're going to hear that crunchy. You're probably going to need a longer piece if you have a bigger piece of meat. And then you continue to cook and it won't keep browning. So I'd like to share a few tips with you using the dome holder when I bake or I dehydrate. I simply place my cookies on the liner pan. I bake them for 12 to 13 minutes. The last two minutes, I take the dome holder and I place it in the liner pan and I balance the dome on top. This way you're cooking but letting the moisture out so you'll end up with a nice crisp cookie. Then I let them sit on the liner pan for two to three minutes. I transfer them over to the four inch rack to totally cool down. Now when I'm dehydrating, I do the same exact thing, except the last 30 minutes of dehydration, I place the dome holder on like this so the moisture escapes. So there you have it, some get great tips and tricks when you're baking or dehydrating. Some of you may have received the 25 gourmet recipe cards that were developed by chefs for us. They're a great resource to have. They're easy, they're simple. You can make these meals and impress your friends. Here's a few of my favorites. I like the shrimp kebabs, nice and simple. Vegetarian stuffed peppers. And my favorite, the New Wave breakfast sandwich. If you did not get these and you'd like a set, simply go to our website and you can pick them up there. What is triple combo cooking? Triple combo cooking power is the term we give the technology behind our new wave oven. The new wave combines three types of heat. Conduction, which is direct heat like the oven at home, your conventional oven. Then we have convection. Convection is the fan that circulates hot air around the food and the infrared which penetrates the food cooking from the outside and inside at the same time. This technology allows us to cook our foods perfectly every time. What kind of pans can you use in your new wave? The rule of thumb is you can use any pan that you would use in your regular oven at home. Uh, we use ceramic, glass, tin foil, among all the others that have oven safe on them, you can use in the New Wave. How easy is it to clean the New Wave oven? Very simply, place in your dishwasher, everything is dishwasher safe other than the power head. I recommend that you put it on air dry <clears throat> setting so that you don't discolor or damage your New Wave oven in any way. It's that simple. Do you have to flip your foods? The answer is yes on larger items, turkeys, chicken, roasts. You want to turn them so that they cook evenly and brown all the way through. On smaller items such as steaks, chicken breasts, some vegetables, that's your personal preference, but if you do not flip them, they'll cook perfectly every time. Can you bake in the New Wave oven? The answer is yes. The New Wave bakes everything from cookies, brownies, bread puddings, rolls, biscuits. It cooks perfectly every time. Just follow the directions on your recipe and the New Wave will do the rest. 
One of the most common questions I get is how to cook a turkey in the new wave. It's very simple. You want to pick up your quick and easy cooking guide, find the turkey. If you're doing a fresh or frozen, we give you the times. Fresh is 12 minutes a pound. Frozen is 15 minutes a pound. And if you stuff your turkey, you're going to add three minutes to each timetable. The other question I get is how do I get the bag out of the turkey when I'm starting from frozen? Simply place your turkey breast side down, cook halfway through, then you just pull out the bag, discard it, flip your turkey over, season the other side, and continue cooking for the remaining time. Now the fresh turkey is simply done the same way. You just flip it, reseason, and push the remaining time. And your turkey will come out moist and juicy every time. Do you need ventilation when you're using your new wave? And the answer is no. We have no open flame or smoke, therefore you do not need ventilation. You can use it almost anywhere. Dorm rooms, apartments, RVs, campers, boats, or even outside at a party. Does the new wave heat up your kitchen? The answer is no. Our oven requires no preheating and no venting. Therefore, all of our heat stays directly in the oven, which makes it one of the most efficient appliances on the market today. Can you dehydrate in the new wave oven? Yes, you can. We have recipes in our recipe book. Simply go there and follow the directions. There's one thing that you need to know. You turn your dome holder upside down balancing the dome to allow steam to escape. Also, we have a lot of tips and tricks on our website, so please feel free to go there and learn more about dehydrating. How is the new wave different than a microwave? Your microwave will cook your food unevenly and it dries the food out. With our Tripo Combo Cooking Technology, our food comes out crispy on the outside, moist and juicy on the inside, cooks evenly, and is done perfectly every time. How do you season frozen meats? Very simply, take your food out of the freezer, sprinkle a little bit of water on the meat, and then just sprinkle with your spices and follow the quick and easy cooking guide. And if you're using a sauce or an oil, just spread it on as normal, and continue following your quick and easy cooking guide. It's as simple as that. A common question is, what are the dimensions of the new wave? So I'd like to go over that with you. The new wave measures 15 and a half inches wide by 13 and a half inches tall. The inside of it is 12 inches in diameter. The appliance weighs about nine pounds and we use 1500 watts and 12 and a half amps. And you can use it in any household outlet. 